thing working? Yeah. I want to use this. This is fun. How's everyone doing? We're here from Yelp and we want to know how your meal was. <laughs> On a serious note, um, this is the official mayor of Bodyguard Bones. <laughs> we first met when he was a bouncer at Uncle Sam's. And he was the catcher on the Uncle Sam softball team, 1982. True story. Wow, well, we did a few years ago. I played with you one year. Uh, it's a sad day for everyone, right? We got some regulars here, like Mike Police, Council Vice President, and myself. And uh, we're sorry to see Marie and Vinny go. So we have a quick presentation. If you will allow us to interrupt your breakfast, uh, you're part of history here. So I hope you enjoy this. We have. <clears throat> from the town of Weymouth, <clears throat> a special recognition of Vinnie and Marie Jankworth, whereas Boss Muffin Shop has been an anchor in Columbian Square for the past 65 years. Vinnie and Marie Jankworth bought Bob's Muffin Shop from Charlie Fallon in 2007 after Vinnie decided to leave his Brigham's Ice Cream Shop franchise in downtown Boston to work closer to their home in Weymouth. Why don't you come around here too? I'm going to hand this off while I read. Whereas over the past 14 years, Vinnie and Marie Jankwood have created a friendly atmosphere where family and friends frequently gather for great food and conversation and listen to Bones complain about his runny eggs. <laughs> Vinnie and Marie know their customers' names, their favorite foods, and have watched their customers' children grow up over the years. And whereas Vinnie and Marie Jankwood have made it a priority to give back to the community, they've donated thousands of muffins to the Weymouth Junior Police Academy and staff at Social Hospital collecting food donations for the food community supported numerous teams and clubs throughout the town who've gone give, given more than one hundred thousand dollars in student scholarships in memory of their son Jonathan JJ Jankwood who passed away in 2012. And whereas Vinnie and Marie Jankwood managed to keep Bob's Muffin Shop open during COVID, donating numerous meals to the staff at Social Hospital and our EMS responders, Vinnie and Marie cooked and delivered meals to their elderly customers, driving them to doctor's appointments and running errands many of their customers and whereas on Tuesday, November 30th, 2021, Marie and Vinnie and Marie Janko will close Bob's Muffin Shop and begin their retirement. So uh, they need a two by four you go see. <laughs> whereas Vinnie and Marie Janko will be sadly missed by all, they have truly touched so many lives with their kindness and generosity. A grateful community thanks you for all that you have done so many over the past 14 years, but now therefore I, Robert L. Heaven, Mayor of the Town of Weymouth, hereby proclaim Saturday, November 27, 2021, Vinnie and Marie Jankwood Day in the Town of Weymouth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and together with the entire Weymouth community, I congratulate and thank Vinnie and Marie Jankwood for their friendship generosity to so many in our community for all of these years given under my hand this 27th day of November 2021 Robert L. Hedlund Mayor and just on a very quick personal note well this is somewhat personal but on a more personal note I want to thank them for the kindness that they have displayed to my son <laughs> Vinnie would say Vinnie would say to my son John what is your favorite breakfast place and John starting about age two and a half on would play Vinnie Everybody was playing Vinny, and he would say, uh, Nico's. <laughs> What's your second favorite breakfast place? Uh, he would say Mad Hatter, but he'd come with another one. Oh, no, um, uh, Uncle Charlie's. <laughs> so Vinny would give him a lollipop. John, what's your, what's your favorite breakfast place? Uh, Uncle Charlie's. So he'd give him an ice cream. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> And instead of taking the bribe, he worked with them more and more to the point where one day they were talking about Cheetos, and Vinny snuck out the back door, went to the convenience store, bought a bag of Cheetos, and made a Cheetos omelet. <laughs> that was the day he said, What's your favorite breakfast place? Well, the shop. <laughs> this is for you guys. I'm going to turn it over to Mike Police. Thank you, everybody. Mike, Mike. The mic was more of a regular performing. During that sad time, you know, we need to see you know, I mean, we're more than business owners up there in Columbia. We're after a huge part of the community. We're reaching out to the community. It's just such a day out of citation. All the things that you certainly did in the community. I mean, it was home here. And so many of the senior citizens of the town, you know, spent every lunch here. 
breakfast here. It's just um, it's gonna be good because uh, they, they treat it as a family. You know, that's the best job. You know, and uh, it's gonna be good because uh, the waiters will never forget all you did. Now, one more thing before you go back to your next benedict, before I hand it over to you. We have one more thing for you. Like I said, you can speed around town today. Well, yes. We have here, now, they sold their house up the street. Now they're leaving the business. They, they a little further south. But we always want them to feel comfortable in town away. I know you will. Uh, but just to reinforce that, we have for you the key to the city of the, uh, the key to the top of the city known as the town of Wales.